Winter undoubtedly is on its way and that can only mean one thing, we need to get our sewing plans sorted. And one thing that could help with that are 15 free sewing patterns for winter. As per usual, I'm gonna start with the smallest and least complex item and work my way up to the more complex and bigger items. And also as per usual, all of these patterns are from the Mood Fabrics website. All of the links to the patterns can be found in the description box below. So first up, we've got the Iris bodysuit, which is a turtleneck bodysuit, which if you ask me, is great for layering and an absolute essential in a winter wardrobe. I am not the biggest fan of bodysuits, so I would potentially change it up to be a top instead, but that's completely up to you. And it also is quite a suitable project for a sewing beginner. So if you are not super advanced with your sewing yet, the Iris bodysuit should be a doable project, especially if you closely follow the instructions that you can find on the website. You will need to use stretchy material, so if you don't have an overlocker, please make sure to set your sewing machine on a zigzag stitch. Next up, we've got the Bixer sweatshirt, which is just a basic sweatshirt. There is some tips on the Mood website of how you could turn it into a nice Christmassy sweater, for example. It is definitely something that doesn't take too long to sew, so I think this is a great pattern for any sewing beginner, anyone who wants to get started on stretchy fabrics because once again we're going to be using stretchy fabric for this one and just overall it is one of those basics that we can't have enough of during the winter. The pattern can also be adjusted quite easily by cropping it, extending it, turning it into a dress and things like that or even turning it into a cardigan so I think it's well worth it, the download. Next up is the sorrel top, which isn't screaming winter, but it is a long sleeve top. So I just thought I'll include it in this video as well. It is basically a very beautiful blouse. I think in terms of the winter, this could be a great top for going out as you are not too warm, but you are at least a little bit covered. I do think it's a little more advanced because of the button up and on the example on the Mood website, they are using a satin fabric, which is usually a little more difficult to sew with, but why not give it a go? Next up, we've got the Azara top, which is this super nice shirt with flared sleeves and it is a little longer. I think it looks stunning. I love the reference pictures on the Mood website as well, especially the one at the bottom. This pattern is right up my street. I think it's a super cool style. Despite the flare sleeves, I do think it's quite a timeless style as well. So if you DIY it once, you can probably wear it for a lifetime. The next pattern is the Willow Cardigan, which is a longer line cardigan with pockets. I personally love wearing cardigans as it allows me to wear my nice tops throughout the autumn and winter and spring. So I personally think cardigans are quite an essential in any wardrobe. For this, you'd once again use a stretchy fabric such as jersey or a rip knit. I personally would probably extend the pattern and make it longer overall so that it's a really long line cardigan, but as it is, it is already very nice. The next pattern is the boxwood hoodie and if a hoodie isn't a winter essential then I don't know what is. It keeps us warm and comfortable at the same time. You could use a nice fleece lined jersey or even teddy material to keep you extra nice and cozy. Again you would of course use stretchy fabric for this and I would say it probably is a little more of an advanced project due to the hoodie but if you follow instructions any beginner can sew any advanced project. The boxwood hoodie is actually an item that is great for layering with the iris bodysuit. You could even play around with the fabrics and have a bit of patchwork going on, use up your scraps or anything like that. But I think it's a great pattern and I think we should test it out. The next pattern is the Hickory Ensemble, basically a sweat set. And if you are anything like me, you're going to spend winter in a sweat set at home trying to stay warm so i personally think this is a great pattern it should be quite easy to follow because sweatpants joggers crew neck jumpers and things like that are assembled quite quickly and easily just bearing in mind that you will need to use stretchy fabric so once again either use your overlocker or if you don't have one the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine i personally prefer to use fleece line jersey for projects like this but you could also use a lighter fabric and even turn it into a pyjama or you could use a nice and cozy velvet you could patchwork it together you could have color blocking anything really going on with broad sort of patterns like this the world is your oyster 
Next up, we've got the Bellflower dress, which is this beautiful turtleneck dress with ruching at the bottom. A great candidate for any Christmas party, if you ask me. It looks great in velvet, as you can tell from the Mood website. You could adjust it to be longer or shorter, not ruch it up or ruch it up. So there's lots of versatility with this pattern. I think it looks great and I think it's very Christmassy. Next up, we've got the Linda pants, which are basically tailored trousers with an elastic waistband. I personally think this is a great style because I love elasticated waistbands. They're just the most comfortable and they will always fit you. So they should be quite an easy trouser to sew. I think these trousers would look really good in a jacket or gingham fabric and the fabric doesn't have to be stretchy. And of course, most importantly, the trousers do have pockets. So that's always a win. And you could even turn them into joggers if you use jersey. The next pattern are the maple culottes, which are basically cropped white leg trousers. They do have a front fly, so that is a little more challenging to sew, but I have made the experience that it is super worth it. They're really nice trousers that can be worn with boots in the winter, even with tights underneath if it's especially cold where you are. You can combine it with any jumper, any top, and you're gonna look pretty put together. So hopefully you would create a piece that is quite easy to turn into an outfit. Next up, we've got the Zia blazer, which is this beautiful long line blazer. I personally don't dress smart very often, but this blazer does look really nice. And I think it could be dressed up or down to look a little more casual. And it being DIY, I think it makes it very special. And since it's a blazer, you could also always use it as a jacket. The next pattern is the Savannah jacket. Now this definitely is a bit more of an advanced project because you do have all of these buttons and pockets and collars and cuffs and all of that to sew. But I stand by what I said and I do think that sewing beginners can also take on more advanced projects and be very successful at them if they follow the instructions closely. The Savannah jacket is actually a great item for spring and autumn as well. So it's not purely for the winter months. You can use it as a transitional piece, which I think is great. So I think you'd be creating quite a versatile piece. You could actually play around quite a lot with the materials for this jacket. I personally think a faux leather could be quite cool, especially as a transitional piece. I think it's a cool pattern and if I do find the time to sew this, I definitely will. Next up, we've got the Cory jacket, which is this beautiful sort of windbreaker jacket. It even is a unisex style, which I think is really cool. The more challenging part about this jacket is sewing the hoodie, but apart from that, I think it's actually quite an easy jacket to sew. And I personally think this could be a great style to sew a raincoat. The next pattern is the cherry jumpsuit. What a beautiful pattern. You could quite easily extend the sleeves to make them longer and more suitable for winter. It is, however, definitely a more advanced project. And I think it could be another candidate for the Christmas party. And last but most definitely not least is the fennel coat. This definitely is quite an advanced project, but I think it is such a nice coat and it's definitely doable if you closely follow the instructions. I personally want to sew myself a winter coat this winter, so I dare you to test out this pattern. I think it's a beautiful style and having a DIY jacket is quite an accomplishment, so why not? And that was the 15 free sewing patterns suitable for the winter time. I hope you enjoyed the patterns. Let me know in the comments which one you are planning to sew. And other than that, thank you so much for watching.